from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Friday afternoon. Despite nearly record dry conditions for much of October, recent rains and outlooks have state officials optimistic for improvements heading into the winter. After the driest September in 152 years of records, the latest water summary update from the Iowa Department of Natural Resources indicates much of October experienced similar record dry conditions. The report is prepared monthly by staff from multiple state agencies and the U.S. Geological, Geological Survey. Tim Hall is the Hydrology Resources Coordinator for the DNR. He tells KMA News that October's preliminary statewide precipitation was below normal in late October and early November, significantly improved by the U.S. Drought Monitor of Iowa. The latest monitor released Thursday has nearly 93% of the state in at least abnormally dry conditions, or D0, with just over 12% in northwest Iowa experiencing severe drought, or D2, and over 6% with normal conditions. That compares to 100% of the state in at least D0 and over 50% in D2 last week. Page County was among KMA Land counties experiencing blockbuster voter turnout in Tuesday's general election. Figures in the Iowa Secretary of State's office indicate 7,419 of the county's 10,563 registered voters cast ballots in this election, or roughly 70.8%. Page County Treasurer Angie Dow is temporarily in charge of the county auditor's office. Dow tells KMA News the voter turnout was ex- We feel that um, election day, we had anticipated to be very busy at the polls, but in actuality, while it was busy, our absentee voters were the higher number this year um, in past, than past years. Dow says 2,848 voters cast absentee ballots. She credits the county's election workers for a flawless day at the polls. Shenandoah residents are among those in KMA land pausing early next week to salute veterans past and present. Veterans Day ceremonies take place at Shenandoah High School Gym Monday morning at 10. Participants include Shenandoah Middle School's band under the direction of Michael Jones, who is also the event's organizer, Shenandoah High School's choir under the direction of Ashley Smith, and Shenandoah's American Legion Color Guard, and speeches from Mayor Roger McQueen and high school principal Ty Ratliff. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program this morning, Ratliff says the program lasts approximately 45 minutes. Retired Army Command Sergeant Major Gary Rock is this year's guest speaker. You can hear the full interview with Ty Ratliff with a web story at kmaland.com as well as on our Morning Line page. And Red Oak officials are backing changes to rental inspection fees for certain remodel or construction projects. Recently, the Red Oak City Council unanimously approved altering the rental inspection fees for substantial remodeling or new constructions from $145 or $100 per unit to $20 per unit. The move comes in the wake of the city reigniting its rental inspection program through the Southwest Iowa Planning Council in 2025, dividing the community's rental properties over a three-year cycle. KMA on track weather for this afternoon. Cloudy with highs in the upper 50s. Tonight, showers overnight. In fact, a 70% chance of precipitation. Cloudy with lows in the mid-40s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening. Don't forget this week in KMA land. Tomorrow morning at 8.40 on KMA. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson. Have a great weekend. So long, my friend.